Hello, good morning, students. Uh, today we are going to discuss the next topic in Unit Two, Entity Relationship Model, uh, Relationship Degree, and its uh, classification. Okay, uh, Relationship Degree means uh, the number of uh, how many number of entities are involved in a particular relationship. Okay, and uh, its classification means uh, uh, there are so many types of uh, relationships are existing. Uh, Uh, in data models okay let's start relationship degree relationship degree means what is relationship relationship is nothing but an association among the entities or tables okay relationship degree refers uh, how many number of uh, entities associated with that particular relationship okay that means how many number of entities are participating uh, with that particular relationship based on this uh, the relationship degree can be broadly classified into four types unary relationship binary relationship ternary relationship and quaternary relationship okay coming to unary relationship Unary relationship is also known as a recursive relationship. Okay, uh, already we know that. What is the uh, meaning of unary? Unary means one. Okay, that means in that unary relationship, uh, only one entity is associated in that relationship. That means the entity is associated to itself. That's why this is called a recursive relationship. Okay. For example, um, just in a, take an example of a player entity. Okay, uh, in that player entity, we have uh, so many number of uh, player entity instances. Okay, actually, uh, captain is also a player. He is also one of the entity instance. Okay, players. Uh, so many players have uh, only one captain. and one captain leads uh, so many players that's why we have a relationship uh, one to many relationship between captain and player okay actually captain is also a player that entity instance also existing in the player entity exist uh, player entity okay that's why one player entity is related to so many player entity instances in the player entity itself okay uh, that means the entity related to itself is known as a recursive relationship okay mm, and uh, when entity set appears in more than one relationship uh, we it is useful to add labels to connecting lines okay these labels are called as roles here the player uh, is related to player entity itself okay so what is the role here the captain of player is the captain of many players okay this is called as unary relationship and the second example coming to the second example person entity there are several person uh, details uh, per person entity occurrences are existing in the person entity okay in that person entity uh, husband husband entity occurrences uh, occurrences there and also wife entity occurrences also there okay husband is married to wife in that uh, recursive relationship only one to one relationship existing be between the person to itself okay so that means one uh, person a male person married to one female person okay so those are the persons which are existing as entity occurrences in the person entity itself okay here what are the roles husband and wife are referred as roles coming to binary relationship binary relationship is nothing but when two entities are associated in a relationship then it is called as a binary relationship okay so consider the an example 
department and the employees okay so what is the relationship between the department and employees one department may contains several employees okay several employees are belongs to one department okay each employee belongs to only one department so one to many relationship existing between the department and employees so how many entities are associated in this relationship there are two entities one is department and second one is employees okay that means each staff or each employee will be assigned to a particular department so in this two entities are associated in this relationship that's why it is known as binary relationship coming to the ternary relationship what is the meaning of ternary ternary means three that means in that relationship three entities are involved or associated in that particular relationship okay uh, so this is called as a ternary relationship just see this uh, example uh, <clears throat> consider the example of employee assigned to a project in a particular location okay so uh, in one location uh, several projects those projects are assigned to one project is assigned to several employees in one location okay so that means uh, in that uh, what is the relationship here the assigns to project assigns to a particular em many employees in a particular location okay so uh, in that relationship uh, there are three entities are associated okay so what is the relationship between the project and employee each project uh, assigned to many employees okay so each employee is assigned to one project so one to many relationship uh, is existing between the project and employee okay and in one location there are several employees are working and each employee is working in one location that's why one to many relationship existing between the location and employee and coming to the project and location okay one project uh, is allocated to one location and each location can contain only one project that's why one to one relationship between uh, existing between the project and uh, location okay so in this ternary relationship okay how many uh, entities are associated in this relationship three entities are associated project location and employee these type of relationships are called as ternary relationship and last one is quaternary relationship actually quaternary relationship involves four or more entities okay so just uh, see this diagram uh, uh, a prof teachers uh, what is the relationship here the teachers okay the teachers relationship associates uh, four entities professors slides course students okay professor teaches course using slides to the student okay so that's why how many entities are associated in that particular relationship uh, four entities are associated in that particular relationship okay likewise uh, in a relationship there are if, if there are four entities or more entities are involved that type of relationship is called as quaternary relationship and next one is a relationship classification okay a relationship is nothing but the association among one or more entities of course already we have discussed this topic in data model basic data model components and er model also okay so once again uh, i'll tell you clearly relationship classification relationship is an association among one or more entities uh, there are three types of relationships one to many relationship many to many relationship and one to one relationship okay coming to one to many relationship already we know that so what is the relationship association among entities that means uh, it the relationship the type of relationship based on how many entity instances or records in one entity relates with 
how many entity instances are records in another entity okay here the one to many means one entity occurrence or one entity instance or one record in one entity or table is relates with many entity occurrences or entity instances or records in another entity or table okay already we know that this example very well and painter and painting so what is the relationship between those two painter can paint many paintings and each painting is belongs to only one painter okay so that's why one to many relationship is existing between uh, the painter and the painting table okay and uh, observe that when you represent a key attribute that should be underlined and when there is a foreign key in er er uh, model it should be underlined okay here the painter number uh painter in, in painter entity painter number is a uh, key attribute or primary key in painting table painting number is a uh, primary key attribute okay in order to maintain relationship we have a common attribute okay that common attribute uh, uh, should be primary key in one side and foreign key in many side that's why here the painting number is a primary key attribute in the prime uh, in the painter table becomes foreign key in the paint table okay already we know that what is the foreign key uh, it is a reference key which refers only which exists only which allows only uh, primary key uh, uh, the values in the primary key column no other values are allowed to uh, store okay and uh, next concept next uh, relationship many to many relationship Uh, more entity occurrences or entity instances in one entity or table or relates with many entity occurrences or entity instances in another entity okay so what is the example for that employee may learn many skills and many skills may learn by many employees okay so that's why so many employee instances or relates with the so many skills in the skills entity okay or likewise so many skills are learned by so many employees that's why many to many relationship are existing between the employee and the skills entities coming to one to one relationship okay one entity occurrence or one entity instance in one entity or table is relates with the one only one entity occurrence or instance in uh, another entity uh, this is also known as a special type of uh, uh one to many relationship also if many side restricted to one uh, then it will become one to one relationship okay uh, so for example a retail company store is maintained by the single manager but each manager manages a single retail retail store okay so what is the relationship between the manager entity and the store entity one to one relationship okay the relay what is the relationship here the relationship label is managers okay okay here the two notations one is chan notation and the next one is a crowfoot notation have we are uh, uh, representing uh, data models in uh, uh er model databases in er model okay chan notation and crowfoot notation just you observe one to many and many to many and one to one between uh, uh, the one to one relationship between the painter and painting many to many between the employee and skills okay and uh, one to one between the employee and store already uh, just have we have learned clearly Uh, and uh, coming to another examples of relationship types okay so one to one relationship uh, so just to uh, see that uh, representations also these uh, symbols are used in uh, uh, crowfoot notation uh, crowfoot notation okay so example the president and country okay so uh, president president only one president uh, 
uh, is for only one country and one country has only one president so one to one relationship existing between the president and the country and coming to one to many the department and employees okay one department has several number of employees and each employee is belongs to only one department so one to many relationship between the department and the employees okay to represent the many side we used three pronged symbol here okay uh, that's why this is called as crow foot notation already we know that uh, so coming to many to many so many to many uh, relationship existing between the employee and uh, project okay one employee is assigned to uh, many projects sometimes and each project is assigned to many employees also okay uh, and coming to many to one employees and department okay employees uh employees has only one department and each department has several employees okay this is one many to uh, one relationship between the employee and the department okay coming to the frequently asked questions what is er model and explain relationship degree sometimes uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, it's very important for 10 marks or 5 marks and uh, a relationship classification for uh, Five months. Second question: Explain relationship classification. Okay. So, any questions? Uh, if you have any doubts, just uh, contact me immediately to clarify your doubts. Okay. Watch uh, YouTube videos thoroughly and write running notes. Don't forget, students. Thank you.